everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, have a nice compound cut design by Steve Good. I have made this video in the past, but I didn't feel that I did it the justice that I could do over here on the scroll saw. But it is some compound cut word art, and on one side of the compound cut is love, and the other side is wood. So, love wood. This would make a great gift for anyone who works at a lumber yard or is a carpenter or just a woodsman that enjoys working with wood. Really, really awesome and unique gift and also a conversation piece because when um, people pick it up, they always ask, there's no way you made this on a scroll saw, but you can make it on a scroll saw and I'm going to show you how. I've already got my pattern printed out to full size and attached to my blank. This is one and a half inch square wood and this is just a ripped down piece of pine. Um, I would have liked to have done this out of cedar, but I didn't have a blank big enough out here. And you want to do this out of one solid piece of wood because if it's laminated, people are going to say, well, you cut out each layer and then glued it and sanded it. So make sure you can try to make it out of one piece. I've already got my pilot holes drilled in the words in love and wood. And compound cutting is where I'm going to be cutting everything out one way, flip the wood 90 degrees, cut out everything else, remove the waste, and we'll have some beautiful art just like this. It is essential when compound cutting that your blade is square to the table at a perfect 90 degrees. And I've already checked it by the gauge underneath the table, but I also have this nice little tool here that I printed out on my 3D printer. This is a blade leveling guide, and you can see where the blade goes in for some of the common angles, and then of course the perfect 90 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is line it up, looks good that way, and looks good that way, really handy tool to have, and I found that file for that on Thingiverse, but again this is a Steve Good design, we're going to begin, I'm going to show you how to cut a few of the internal hole internal cuts and then we will move to the final outside cuts another thing to keep in mind is I am using a number 12 blade I normally use a number 5 blade and that is this blade here I am using number 12 blade in this video and hopefully you can see the different sizes here you cannot make the hairpin turns that you would make with a number 5 blade with the number 12 blade so what you will see me do is when I get to a corner I will sneak up on it and back up and kind of make a small hole where I can eventually flip the wood all the way around. Everything is attached with clear packing tape and that also helps lubricate the blade to reduce burn marks on the inside and then I have another trick to remove um, even more burn marks or to prevent them later on in the video but right now I'm going to take the tension off the scroll saw, I'm going to unhook the blade, get it threaded through and start scrolling. And we are going to begin by doing the internal cuts. All the cuts on this project are going to be nice and slow. Getting the internal cuts done on the word love. Again, just a nice slow cut and letting the blade do the work. Again, I'm using a number 12 reverse tooth blade. And just taking my time with it. This is a Steve Good design, and if you guys would like to download and try this design, you can head over to his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and download it for free over in his pattern catalog. Now I'm done with all the internal cuts, and I'll retension the blade, and I'll check once again with the little tool to make sure it's level and begin the final long outside cuts and you see me backing off there to where I can get those hairpin turns that you can't get with a number 12 blade and just going along the cut line just letting the blade do the work and not trying to rush anything because you do not want to force the blade through the material roughly because then the blade could bow and then your cuts will not be perfect 90s and that is very crucial to compound cutting. Coming around the W in the word wood. Back down the other side. And you see me there again backing up a little to create a hole. 
really like another little pilot hole to where I can turn the thicker blade around and begin the cut in the opposite direction. Now we're done with the first side and we'll go to the workbench and remove it from the waste wood and I like to clean out the sawdust with just a toothbrush or a brush or anything you have on hand even in the waste material and this just helps prevent burn marks and the blade catching and creating more burn marks than necessary and I will tape everything back together and I'll make sure everything is nice and tight doing the brushing of the sawdust is totally optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to but then we will flip the piece 90 degrees and head back to the scroll saw and begin cutting around the word love doing the same technique nice and slow if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at artisan pirate I'd really appreciate the support. Coming around here on the back side of the word love, and this will complete the project. Again, just taking my time and just guiding the workpiece through the blade. Now that all the cutting's done, I'm gonna head over to the table saw and just square up the base where it'll be nice and flat. And now we're gonna head back over to the workbench and remove all the waste wood carefully and slide the piece out and clean it off and the project is complete. And here we have the completed Love Wood 3D compound cut word art over on the scroll saw. It came out amazing. There's still some finer sanding I need to get in there and do with some very fine grit sandpaper. With it being pine, it did want to um, fray out and create a lot of fuzzies. But you see I have no burn marks on that and that was just a case of me going very slow with the cut letting the blade do the work in the thicker material and also that clear packing tape really lubricated the blade and also cleaning out the sawdust between the two cuts thank you Steve Good for another amazing design as you can see the words are clearly legible love wood love wood really really awesome I think this would make a great gift to batch out and make for people in the woodworking community and give these out as conversation pieces because if you look at it not straight on but at different angles or whatever you really don't know what it says until you pick it up and start looking at it and then once again that just starts a conversation with everyone like hey how was it made was it made on this tool on that tool did you order it from someone and say so, and you can proudly say nope it was made by hand on a scroll saw it took me around 15 minutes to make this and do all of the cuts I've made these before as you can see there's the first one I made and I hope between this video the older one and this newer video I have given you all the tips and confidence you need to go out and try compound cutting for yourself the two key elements in compound cutting on a scroll saw is to make sure that the blank you're going to use and attach your pattern to is a perfect 90 all the way around so when you flip it to do the two different cuts everything is flush and also that your blade is lined up to your table at a perfect 90 degrees you see me check it with this tool and if anyone is curious about this tool I found it on Thingiverse in one of the files um, I have a 3D printer and Thingiverse is just a great site and resource to go to to try 3D printing projects and I saw this and printed one of these out if I can find this in the catalog again I will drop a link to this little um, tool here down in the description box below hopefully I can find it so some of you guys that have 3D printers might want to make one I use it on the scroll saw and I use it to line up the bandsaw blade because the slots are big enough for the bandsaw blade as well but really really awesome again thank you Steve Good for another great design I had fun making this and I hope you guys 
like watching me make it. That's about all for this one. Please continue to like, share, follow, and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.